welcome back to my channel adventures with amira we are on vacation right now so i was able to go to a new dollar tree this dollar tree was at least three times the size of the normal dollar tree that we go to back home and so i just had to get a few clips of that store for you guys so i'll share it with you guys what we saw within the store and then i'll show you what i hauled okay you guys i have never seen these before this is so cute for a little girl or just doing little fairy gardens and stuff look how whimsical that is these would even be cute for like christmas decorations i feel like so cute <laughs> look at this little cotton candy stand oh my goodness and this little ice cream trailer okay these are adorable and i really like these too look at this i'm gonna have to get this little teapot fairy house look at that this one's cute it looks like a little apple and here are the trays that can go with the little cake shop items i guess they're just like little pottery trays with the moss on them it's too cute but they have these little shell type things for the fairy garden get these two the fairies oh and look up here you guys they have the little ice cream like for the little ice cream shop maybe that's what you're supposed to set up like an ice cream shop for the fairies little unicorns okay these are cute happy place that's for sure okay and then they have these they've also got these little tractors and then they have some gladiolas in we don't have this in that area decorative filler hmm. they have a lot more garden stones so we don't have these in our area either these are sprinklers hmm. those are cute like in the summer for the kids to play with we used to always set those up when i was growing up we would <laughs> lay out my daddy's tarps for the camper and for our trailers and stuff and we would make our own slip and slides and just go flying through the yard we would set up like five of them in a row <laughs> Because we lived on a big piece of property. And we would just lay them all out and put the sprinklers out and go for a slip and slide. Need some of these. Little seeds stored in greenhouses. Little unicorn pins. Yeah. Yeah, this little kitty. We have pinatas here. Got photo sticker frames. They've got pandas. And llama horns. <laughs> Kind of a marble print with roses. My sister probably would love that. He has made everything beautiful in its time. They have a lot of cute signs for little gold rings. Look at this. That's adorable. And these have like little sequins in the bottom that move around. <laughs> that's cute so this switches between saying let me hang this up for you guys so you can see that today I am a unicorn or today I am a mermaid <laughs> I feel like this sign was made for somebody like me
you guys the craft aisle in the store is like being inside Michael's except that everything is a dollar whoa look at all the stickers what are these like oh yeah these are like chip wood stickers My daughter found these little pizza eraser sets. That is really cool. There's some other little summer style ones. Now these are actually love on transfers. Look at those unicorns now those are beautiful well look at the little whimsical bunny okay i have to get these these are really nice for scrapbooking Do you guys still do scrapbooking? I used to do it so much more, oh my goodness, but I have all these pictures. I really should start doing that more often. These thicker stickers are kind of hard to dip, you know, to deal with when you're doing a book just because they push into the pages, but these are pretty for other craft projects. I like these dragonflies a lot. This is so pretty. This is a pop-up? Huh. I guess that pops open. You could make a really beautiful card with this, like a Mother's Day card. That would be pretty. I love these kind of windows, you guys. Oh, so pretty. These are cute for planners. And they have a lot of different planner style stickers here too. They have the big metal words here. Yeah, we don't have these at our store. Like, we have the tiny metal words. So, this says family. I can't believe this is only a dollar. That's unreal. So, we have a bunch of different ones. These are very bright. Those are really unique letters. I've never seen letters quite like that. Those would be beautiful for making like cool holiday cards. Little butterflies. These stickers. I love these little jars. They are just so useful for so many different things. Oh, and look, they have bigger wood boxes here. Okay, I think I'm going to get this because I already have an idea for what I can do with this with some gemstones. Can you hold that for me, sweetie? Here you go, and this. Look at the stickers there. Look at the wolves at the bottom. Yeah, they definitely have a lot more crafting items than we have. We just started getting a few things in our store, but nothing like this. I don't know what you guys use these for but my daughter makes all kinds of cool stuff out of these things you give that girl some some kind of wood and a hot glue gun and she can make <laughs> almost anything she already made like boxes treasure boxes out of these things she glued a bunch of them together she had all kinds of ideas here's some more of those boxes with the little owls on them so all i'll see if those are owls and butterflies oh there's one down there that has a little house on it 
Oh, and there's one that has a butterfly opening. Hmm, that's cute. I have those little trays. They have the bigger tin signs here. They're getting more blocks. Maybe. <laughs> have some double-sided tape here. And then they've got bottles of chalkboard paint. Now we don't have like all of these things at our store at all. We have a little bit of paint here and there, but nothing like this. They've got spray glue. They've got acrylic paint, washable paint here. And then they have Sergeant Art acrylic craft and hobby plant paint. And they also have that, it comes in purple. And this really pretty blue. And then there's kind of like a mustard yellow. They have a washable paint with glitter in it. That's pretty. They have a washable paint in red. And then there's another acrylic in black. These are really pretty. Oh, I haven't seen these little paint trays before. That's cute. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> now see, when I paint, this is the kind of paint tray that I want. I also have a snowflake back here if you're a Frozen fan. I think I'm getting this. Yes, sometimes I'm still a five-year-old. I have a lot of cardstock here, which is really good for different projects that we have to do sometimes for school. This is actually really nice. It's like thick. I don't know if you can see the texture on that, but it's a much thicker type of cardstock. And I've never seen cork sheets. This is really good to put on the bottom of like any type of coasters to keep them from non being non-slipping and also for like trays that you use like on a dresser or something so that they don't stick. Let's see, they've got ultra fine glitter. Oh. A lot more paints down here. These are the Crayola paints. Oh, and then they have Prang. Hmm. Prang is like a really good brand, apparently, for different art projects because when my son was in art at school, they specifically requested Prang products for a lot of different things that they had to do. And I normally find these like at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Two pair of paint. and residue eraser. How does that work? Have you guys used this before? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm interested to see how this works. Should I try this, honey? Just to try it out. Glue and a residue eraser. I wonder like if there's stickers on something glass or whatever if it would come off. Roller cutter. Jason to the front, please. Okay, guys, do you ever get overwhelmed in a store because there's just too much to see? That's about where I'm at right now. <laughs> there is so much here. Okay, they have these little cotton pods. They've got more of the jute twine over here, but it's a totally different texture and it looks longer. They have a lot of different floral sprays and then at this store, they have all of the different sizes to build your own arrangements. Um, let's see, they have potting soil here. And this is a bigger bag than our store normally would carry. Let's see what else they have down here. They have the weed barriers for the garden. They have these larger pots. They've got solar lights. 
down here. And they've got the solar stakes. I kind of like these that look like little crystal balls. They've got hose accessory kits, garden hose splitters. Yeah, they have way, way more stuff. Garden flags. We always have the garden flag stands, but not the flags at our store. That's so funny. Here's a lot of those glass bottles while they're over here. I don't know. They probably ran out of room on the other side. Now, these are cute. These little chalkboard wooden stakes, like when you're doing herbs. And they've got more glassware down here with the crafts. Oh, goodness. Okay, you guys, look at this. They even have cross stitching kits here. They've got all kinds of different beads. Every kind of glitter. Oh, they sell jump rings here? Seriously? When I'm buying all this stuff online for my daughter's little jewelry business that she has, you should see how much this stuff costs sometimes. And now you can just grab it at the Dollar Tree. This is a convenient organizer box. A lot of people use these too for their medicines. They have the larger packs of glue sticks here if you need the long ones. We don't carry these in our store, we only have the short ones. And they have a lot of different markers. We have a bunch of crap stuff. I mean, a lot. <laughs> Oh, look at this cross stitch kit here. This is a bigger one. Butterflies, they have one that says love. Choose joy, I like that one. That's cute. They have all different types of yarn here. We never have selections of yarn. So they have whole little um, oil pastel kits here as well. I guess it has all 12 colors, yeah. That's pretty good for anybody that's a painter in your family. If you were looking into getting to different crafts, they definitely have what you would need at a store like this. Oh, I love these thread packs. Let me tell you, when Dollar Tree came out, like, who knows, 20 something years ago, maybe longer than that, but at least that long, I remember our hometown got one and I bought one of these kits and I still have all these little colors of thread. I'm going to have to get this because I'm just going to put the kit together for my daughter. I still use the same threads from all those years ago and I especially use these navy blues in here because my husband was Air Force so a lot of his uniforms and things we would need them and it just had a lot of different colors that you wouldn't normally find so this is a great deal and i'm glad that it has a large spool of the white because you use that and the black a lot but these other unique colors anytime my children had, had any kind of little tear or something in their clothes growing up i always had whatever thread color it was because of this kit i got from dollar tree so many years ago and this is the first time i've seen another one so i'm definitely getting that I've never seen a chalk rider in purple. Hmm. Okay, this is a great deal, you guys, for this bead tray. Because I just bought this for my daughter from like a bead supply thing. And it was like $9. And here it is for a dollar. I swear it looks almost exactly the same. This is really good um, when you're making bracelets. And it's also good if you're working with seed beads. If you know, know what those are, they're the little teensy tiny beads and they fly all over the place so you can separate them in these bead trays and it just makes your life so much easier so they're not rolling all over the table while you're working. But yeah, to say that they have a lot of crafts here is a severe understatement. They have so much home decor here too. What? Look at this. Okay, I really like that. I really like that. Okay, I really like these little elephants. And they have them like a glossy finish over here. And then they have it in a matte finish right here. I don't know which one I like more. I like both of them. Hmm. Okay. 
What do you guys think? Glossy or matte? For some reason, I feel like glossy one will be easier to dust. Like, just to keep dust off of. But they're both cute. He just has a more earthy look to him. This looks like a sacred geometry piece. They have aroma diffusers here? What? Okay, that's crazy. Who knew you could find this much stuff at the Dollar Tree? I thought I'd already seen it all, but nope. 